Time in state history, the Oregon House of Representatives expelled a member for disorderly behavior. This video shows Representative Mike Nearman letting armed protesters into the state capitol back in December. Our Lindsay Nadrick spoke to a Polk County commissioner about what happens next with Nearman's seat. Lindsay joins us live. Well, Representative Mike Nearman was expelled by a vote of 59 to 1, and that one vote came from Nearman himself. Every other House member, Democrat and Republican, voted yes in favor of the expulsion. Security camera video shows Nearman letting protesters into the Capitol on December 21st, 2020. He's also one of 11 people facing criminal charges for that incident. Those charges include trespassing and official misconduct. At yesterday, Today's expulsion hearing, Nearman testified, saying, quote, expelling me won't make this place safer. So what happens to his vacant seat? County commissioners have 30 days to appoint someone. Polk County Board of Commissioners Chairman Craig Pope will help lead this process and told me Nearman could get his job back. I think that it's important to note that um, the expelled representative has the opportunity to have his name put back in the mix. Uh, for consideration, and I have been told that there is an opportunity, there's a likelihood that that may happen. Commissioner Pope says the Oregon Republican Party State Committee will put forward three to five names for consideration as finalists for the vacant seat. Those names will then be voted on by commissioners from Marion, Yamhill, Benton, and Polk counties. Whoever they choose will fill the seat for the remainder of the term, but as of now, Commissioner Pope had no idea who's being considered. I should also note under state law, former Representative Mike Nearman can run for reelection in 2022. I did reach out to him to find out what his plans are today, but I have not heard back. Reporting live, I'm Lindsay Natterich, Point Six News. Very interesting, Lindsay. Thank you.